Having followed four older brothers through high school, I know what it's like to be confused with my relatives. Same thing happens with electricity and magnetism. If you put a magnet in an electric field, it feels nothing. It's not the same force. On the other hand, we can use electric current, like from this power supply here, to produce a magnetic field. And if we have an electric current in a wire that's sitting inside a magnetic field, it'll produce a force. So here I'm going to use both those effects. I'm going to take a, uh, an electric current power supply that's going to send current through these wires into this lower wire. And then it goes back here, comes here, and then sends it to the right on this top wire. And I'm going to see whether or not there's any resultant force between these two wires. I use this particular power supply because it can go up to 25 amps. So here, let me turn on the juice and see what happens. And I'm now at about 22 amps, and I see that this top wire is repelled by the bottom. I'll turn it back down, and it'll oscillate a little bit, but it's coming back to its original position. So let's see what it is that happens here, theoretically. If I have two wires that are carrying current in opposite directions, I can use two consecutive right-hand rules to puzzle out what force each of them exerts. If I look at current going through the bottom wire, I use a right-hand rule in which I grasp the current in, my, uh, in the direction of my thumb, and my fingers will curl in the direction of the B field. So above that wire, they point into the board, Below the wire, they point out of the board. Secondly, I'm going to use this right-hand rule to figure out what force is exerted. So here is I2, the second wire, and I'm going to put my fingers in the direction of I2, and I'm going to slap into the direction of B, which I already showed was into the board. If I do that, my thumb is going to point in the direction of the resultant force. In this case, I2 is being repelled by I1. And by the way, Newton's third law tells me that if I1 is pushing I2 away, I2 is pushing I1 away with exactly the same force. So our conclusion, in this case at least, opposites repel.